gosh. <laughs> I'm here in Hong Kong and uh, as I've done in Shanghai before I'm going to try and run all of the standard 10 metro system lines all in one go, see how long that takes. I'm guessing it's going to be around about two and a half hours in comparison to Shanghai's three and a half hours. Uh, I won't be too technical on the trains and the ages and the systems. There's other channels that are far better than that, like for example Reese of, of RM Transit. You know, he has a much better knowledge and, and database than me. Okay, so please join me as uh, we go through the, uh, the various lines. We're in IFC Mall, which hasn't all opened up yet, but we go down here into Hong Kong Station. We will take the Tung Chung line to get to the Disneyland. This is uh, Hong Kong Station. It's possible to see a flash of your most recent data there. We'll do initially is go pretty much the whole way along the line to the Sunny Bay. Here we are in Hong Kong ready to do the 10 standard metro lines all in one go as I've done in Shanghai before. I think the best way around the network is to start at Disney. Uh, there's a single line spur that needs doing. It's a very hot day, it's very sunny and there are a lot of people here at Disney so I hope they have a good day and there are no heat issues for them. There is the Disney Resort station the traffic is probably about 95% inbound, I would say. Okay, so I'll tap in, 76, and we start that, and we are off. I guess you could say that this is a dedicated station to the Disney Resort. There's music going and a lot of Disney motifs. I think the train comes from this direction and we have, there you go, you can see the end of the line there. Here comes the train, there is nobody here really at the moment, let's just see how this goes. I'm expecting the platform to become very busy, very quick. Disneyland Resort line is uh, driverless, currently single tracked. I, uh, there must be a switch, switch over point. I can't believe there's only one train on this line. There we have dual tracks. Um, we're just coming in, but I'll explain on the map briefly. We've just done this bit. We will then use the Tung Chung line to Tsing Yi and then take the Airport Express to Hong Kong. And then Sunday, we will use the, the island line to do Sunday, the Sunday, south Sunday, line Sunday, and then Sunday, go off and do the other lines over here. Later. We want to go towards Hong Kong, so we have to go. We do not have a cross platform here, so we have to change over to there. which is where the airport is for Disney and Discovery Bay. Now we're on the island of Tsing Yi after going through a tunnel. And this is where we will pick up the second half of the airport express. We need to find the airport express. Ah, we need to exit and then re-enter. I thought that might happen. Because the airport express will be uh, on a different fee structure. 
So that was down and then up again. But then the Airport Express is actually loop around. Yeah, so that's a Here's all of the airline details, there's the Airport Express, here's the big entrance and I've made a mistake. You cannot take the Airport Express into town. You can see here it is just going to the airport or the Asia World Expo. It doesn't go into town from here. So I have failed. It's no longer the 10 lines, it's the 9 lines. So I need to get back onto the uh, Tung Tung line. Now I can say at least I stood on the platform and then I got a refund. So it actually doesn't matter which of the island line or the Taiwan line we use to get to the South Island line. So the reason it doesn't really matter which of the two lines we take is because we'll be using both the, the blue line, the blue the island line and the Taiwan line later on on the trip. We are here and we need to get all the way over to Central. I find this quite well managed. Uh, people drive on the left in Hong Kong, so we'll go over to the left. There, from Central to Admiralty, for the South Island Line. From Central to Admiralty, and then off to Ocean Park. This is the first time into Admiralty, and we will do it several more times. I think. And maybe we are lucky again, it's always difficult to tell. I'll go for an easier door. There we go. This is a terminal order. So because it's a spur line, we'll go to Ocean Park and then just loop around and go back. Coming into Ocean Park, you can see there's there's Ocean Park there. Much quieter than Disney. This uh, particular line has quite short trains in comparison to the others. I think it's the four carriages. Actually, no, it's three. Perfect. Shanghai running is coming back to me now. And look, if we <laughs> I don't want to lose anything from my pockets. And other people are doing the same thing. But here we have the island line. Well, they don't give you much time. This is the East Island line and I actually took the entire length uh, to Shenzhen earlier on this weekend. We're getting off here on the Twin Mark line. So one very brief stop there. It's a large control pinkles. We're going very deep on this line. Just one stop on the 
twin line and now it'll be another one stop on this which is the Quintong line. Figure out if it's an automated train. That probably indicates it is not. So one stop here to Yamate and then we go to the twin one line back to central. Now it's polite to queue. Looks like we didn't just miss a train because there's a lot of people here, so that's okay. Uh, right, so we're at Yamate. We will go back into Admiralty for a second time. It's possible to tell that these are the older lines, a little bit darker. So here we can see that yes, in fact, the, the two lines do cross over three times. At Yalmate it is a platform change, as I just did. And then in Mong Kok it is a um, same direction change, and at Prince Edward it's a reverse change. So I could have gone all the way up to Prince Edward's and done a cross platform transfer, but that would have been a lot more time, I think. So now we are going from Tsim Sha Tsui, I think. We're essentially going underneath the water where the Star Ferry runs. So we're going between Kowloon and Hong Kong. We'll go back into our water for a third time and then pick up the uh, island line over to North Point. Okay, and if right, this should be a simple cross-platform transfer, one of the great things about the Hong Kong Metro. There's not a train here, unfortunately. It'd be nice to have shown you a video of me running from one side to the other. We're on line eight of nine, so we're coming into the last one on North Point, and it should be another cross-platform transfer, if I'm right. Train moving away. Hmm, ironically, with no passengers on it. That may have been an absolutely awful timed transfer because we saw a train and we've now got to wait five minutes. <laughs> this a woman pushing it. So I take, I take it back. The train is just here, even though it said five minutes. So we're just doing one stop to Quarry Bay and then we've done all of the I'm going to call it the nine available lines. The train's just arrived, it will stay here for four minutes, that's what it means. So I still think we did just indeed miss a train. Let's see if we can help this guy. Hang on, hang on. Can I help, can I help you? Can I help you? Wow, that's heavy. <laughs> oh Thank my you. word. Oh gosh. <laughs> and then here we go off to Quarry Bay. So we've done all the lines, this is the last stop, exit on the opposite side, we are at two hours right now. So Seems like it's quite a deep, deep, wow. Well. Deep, deep station. Slightly crazy. I guess it's, it's got something to do with the name. Was it Quarry Hill? It must have been very deep. I'll have to do some investigations, but that was a massively deep station. Probably something to do with the Quarry Hill name. Here we are coming up on 203. I'm going to say stop there. Do that. 61.1. I think we started at. 75, so uh, slow on the maths team, is that 13.9? Let's have a look. I think we're on the, the tram line because we're on the north side of Hong Kong Island and so therefore you can see the, um, there's the tram lines there. There's a, there's a tram. Uh, started in 1904, I now know, and there's something like 165 of them. So 
that is why they are record breaking. There are more trams than in any other kind. Anyway, Quarry Bay, not Quarry Hill, but uh, that was a very, very deep line. And it took me about five minutes to get off the train and then to the outside. Uh, so let's just do the map. Let's see if I get this right. It was Disney, then Sung Yi to try and get on the Airport Express, and I failed, so therefore back on to the Tong Chung line, and then we came into Hong Kong, transferred to Central. We did the Island Line for the first time, Admiralty on the South Island Line to Ocean Park and back again, and then it was off on the East Island Line to Hong Kong, then transferred to the uh, Twin Ma Line over to Ho Ma Tin, and then from there to Kun Tong Line, back to Yamate, rather than going to Prince Edwards, that's quicker there, I think, and then through Tsim Cha Tsui to Admiralty again, which on the uh, Swin Wan Line, back on the Island Line, and then lastly the Swin Quan O Line, and here we are. Okay. It's quite hot and humid here at uh, Quarry Bay, but a little bit of history. Uh, the system was actually initially considered as early as 1966 by the British. They commissioned some studies focused upon the population in 1986 as being something like five or six million. Uh, construction initially started in 1974 and the system with the first four lines um, actually started operation in 1980. I believe the daily ridership is somewhere between five and five and a half million passenger journeys and I read somewhere that 90% of all Hong Kong journeys are actually partaken on some form of public transport, whether that's buses or uh, the metro system, or I guess that also covers taxis as well. Anyway, I hope as ever that you found that interesting and you will indeed join me on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.